Lethal Company is a very good game. It's an indie horror developed by Zekas, and its low price and multiplayer options make it a popular choice for streamers and regular people alike. And it's going absolutely stratospheric, garnering over 100,000 concurrent players, with countless memes spawning from the entertainment generated as a result. As such, I'd like to make the point that Lethal Company is the new Among Us. I know, I know, it's okay to roll your eyes and say, get out of here, but bear with me. In terms of popularity and the sheer deluge of memes pouring from it at any given second, this game has become insanely widespread. I cannot scroll down any of my social media feeds for longer than five seconds without finding a clip of the funny men in suits doing funny bits, and I love it. To be honest, though, it seems unlikely it will reach the same heights as Among Us without a pandemic to keep everyone inside playing video games, but it surely hits those same notes of human connection and shenanigans through wacky multiplayer interactions. Plus, I mean, come on, the hazard suits? Very Among Us. It's these silly interactions that have led to a co-op horror about scavenging at abandoned moons to sell scrap to their company, becoming one of the hottest games of 2023. After all, the most popular games seem to be the ones that create the most instances of connection between human beings, which ultimately are what drive views, and thus are pushed by algorithms. When it comes to the most viewed games in streaming, people want to see drama, and nothing pushes drama quite like lo-fi horror and fear instigated by Lethal Company. What I also love is that it just goes to show how indie games can absolutely blow AAA million dollar products out of the water. Examples like Among Us and Battlebit, which have also dominated Steam charts in the past, show the public is sick of the gaming industry and its greedy insistence on turning everything into a live service with incessant microtransactions. Even though Lethal Company is still in early access, players are absolutely getting their money's worth out of sheer entertainment value, and that's important. Perhaps one day the constant memes and shenanigans will be seen by executive higher-ups in big studios, and they'll figure out enforcing crunch and horrific conditions for their employees to release broken games actually isn't the best way forward. In short, Lethal Company is more than just a new Among Us in terms of existing as a lo-fi indie game hitting the top of the Steam charts and making memes. It's a statement against AAA big budget gaming and all its greedy glory. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. I remember. Like and subscribe! <laughs>